The bank's concert venue takes another step forward following an agreement with the city. Uh, we first told you about the details last week. The deal was actually developed between Mayor John Cranley and County Commissioner Todd Portoon. Not on your size. Mariel Carbone is live at City Hall. And Mariel, does this vote make everything official now? It does, at least on the city side of things. Now, we know that there has been a lot of back and forth on this push and pull. The mayor actually criticized the county's deal with the Bengals to make tailgating permanent space down in that area. So he says that this deal that they've worked out, it will resolve that issue and also is a signal that the bank's concert venue will move forward. Now, here's a breakdown of what the deal really entails. The city of Cincinnati will now not develop what's known as the crosses lot. Instead, the county will be able to use that parking for Bengals games and that allows the county to fulfill its promise to the Bengals. Now, the city will have exclusive development rights to two lots north of Paul Brown Stadium and then the county it'll have exclusive rights to two lots adjacent to the stadium and that's actually where the work currently is going on for the concert venue. Now the mayor calls this a win-win for both the city and the county. Both want to move forward with the music venue and and uh, and they had harmed the city's interest and the public's interest with their agreement with the Bengals and this reverses some of it. Now, one part of this that's been praised by the mayor and other council members here today is the fact that the city can redevelop this lot. It's right next to Pies and Pints, and it's actually the largest undeveloped lot on the riverfront. Now, the mayor says this area, it's prime for redevelopment, uh, and some of the things he says can go there, retail, restaurant, residential space, all things that he says will bring in more money, more jobs, and more people living in downtown Cincinnati. Reporting live from City Hall, Marielle Carbone, 9 on your side.